Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me showing you guys new products that I have. Some of them are first impressions, some of them I've used and I'll show you guys how I achieve this makeup look. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like it, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, I have all my information down below. I will link all the products down below so don't forget to check those out if you're interested in purchasing any of them. But yeah, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I love you guys. And if you guys want to see how I achieve this look and some first impressions, then just keep watching. Laguna Herbal's lip balm is seriously my favorite lip balm ever. This combination for primers is seriously the best. The Guerlain uh, Allure and then the Pore Minimizer. Love both of them. I just love how the Pore Minimizer like isn't drying because most of them are gonna like dry me out. And I always apply with my fingers because I feel like the brush or sponge takes up too much of the product. I'm feeling like a really dramatic eye look today. Love these little palettes. They're so freaking amazing. Cry. Okay, so like the eye look is gonna add like way too much time on this video. So I'm gonna like do it off camera. <laughs> Face. I'm really excited to be using the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I've been using this all month and I've been really loving it. It's really awesome. I really, really, really love it. Um, and I'm, I'm using the shade Tawny, which I was debating like, do I choose Tawny because it's kind of dark, but it's actually perfect because I've been pretty tan this summer. So my skin is prepped. Normally I wouldn't do like a tinted moisturizer for such a dramatic like eye look. I'd do something a little bit more full, but I'm gonna be testing out that concealer. So we will see how that works. And I haven't been like laying out or I'm not self tan right now. So like it's a little dark on me right now, but the concealer I believe is gonna lighten it up a tad. Y'all I really need a new wand because I just did my hair and my hair's already fallen out and I, Convinced it's not my hair, I'm convinced it's my wand is just like so old that it doesn't really hold a curl very well anymore. It used to like really well. So I'm gonna be using this Too Faced Born This Way concealer. Ooh, it's pretty light. Oh, that's like a perfect shade. Let's see how full coverage this is. Yeah, got a little something right there. There's so many different conspiracies, conspiracies, theories on how to contour, how to highlight. Girl, you just do what you like and what works for you. Everyone has their different way. I tend to put it all over. So let's spread it out. Ooh, so far so good. Look at this cover, let me zoom you in. Wow, this reminds me of like Tarte Shape Tape, but it has a little bit of iridescence. Now, comparing this to the other Born This Way concealer, which this is a different formula, totally different product, I'm blown away by this one. I don't know how it's gonna work, I don't know longevity wise, but Right now, I am very impressed because you see that luminosity that's there. So it's super full coverage, but you get a luminous finish, or at least I do. I'm down with the chisel contour look right now. It's called a reverse contour right there. Well, I don't know if it is, but I made it up. Laura Mercier uh, translucent setting powder is still one of my absolute favorites. Oh, and I totally forgot to use this sponge. I even got it out in everything. Whoops, guess I'll be using this in a different video because it's too late now. I've been addicted to this Sigma sponge. Seriously, I've been using it every day. I really like wish I didn't even have to bake because I love just a luminous everything, but that's what my setting spray is for, for luminosity. Okay, so as these bake, I'm gonna go do my brows off camera. I'll be right back. All right, so really pleased with this concealer, you guys. Like, I love how it gave me some luminosity because I hate it when it's just flat, you know what I mean? Oh, I live, I live for that. Who's used it? Who loves it? You know? This Omega bronzer is pretty much warmed up to me. At first, I was a little bit like, not dark enough, you know? But, um, it works. It's probably not my favorite bronzer I've ever used, but I do like it. I mean, it's really pretty. I think I like one with a little bit more of a luminosity to it. This one's pretty flat, but it's, it's pretty, it is, it is. I just have heard so much hype on this one, and I feel like it's hard for me to find one more than, than I like more than the Givenchy Healthy Glow bronzer powder stuff. That one's just so good. So once I find something that's like a holy grail for me, it's just really hard for me to like commit to something else. I mean, I'm open, I just might not commit. Snatch the nose a little bit, just a little bit. Uh-oh. I think I was using this for an eyeshadow. 
I'm really trying to do different stuff because my sister, I think it was my sister was like, you always do the same thing. And I'm just like, do I? And I don't think I really do. I guess I just like these tones. And like, this is a brand new palette. So it's like, you know, it's not like it's the same. It can't be. I really like these colors. I'm gonna go ahead and do the lip because we know how I feel about foundation lips, even though this is normally the last step. I'm gonna do it right now. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. You guys have to let me know if you're getting the Kylie birthday collection because I've made up my mind and I'm getting the palette if it doesn't sell out in like negative five seconds because I, and I'm thinking about doing a giveaway, thinking about it. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that down below. So I haven't done a giveaway in a while and I just haven't been like super excited about any launches. And so like, I only wanna do a giveaway for something I'm like super, super excited about and like really wanna give away. So this is something that I'm pretty stoked about, like an eyeshadow palette that, you know, obviously I'm excited about the Huda Beauty obsessions, but I've had the obsessions for a while. This is just different color. So the Kylie, that new palette just looks so freaking insane. So, and then I'm using the Becca Glow Gloss in Opal. This is such a beautiful, gloss this next part is super exciting because i get to try out this brand new mascara from covergirl that they are launching amp up your lash look with covergirl's new flourish by lash blast mascara now raise your hand if you're a lash blast fan me i've been using lash blast for years and i will tell you the main reason is probably because shay mitchell told me told told me told everyone about the orange one that she used and i i went through a major shea mitchell obsession still there but i used to be like really obsessed and so i would get that one all the time because of her and i was like oh wow i really like the cover girl formula i've seen people use the purple one the orange one other ones and so now they have this new one it has coconut avocado papaya oils inspiring you to unapologetically indulge oh yes comes in uh, four different shades. I'm super excited about this package from CoverGirl, trying out their new mascara. This is super exciting. Oh, this package just makes me want to do an Australian accent. So bad, I hope I did it the right way. Conditioning formula, Argan, Jojoba, and Coconut. And then the Flourish by Lash is the luscious ingredients like papaya, avocado, coconut, like I was talking about. So let's try it out and see what Emily thinks about these mascaras. I normally don't do primers because I'm not like a big lash primer person. I just feel like, I don't know, I've just never been, but we'll see what it does. I was a little skeptical at first that this type of brush would really irritate my lash line because the one that looks kind of spiky like this usually hurts, but this one is soft. Like the bristles are soft. They're not really too spiky or pokey on my lash line. So it's not hurting me or anything like that. And this color, insanely beautiful flourish that volume is beautiful wow love wow look at the volume and length it's volumizing and lengthening no clumping you can always tell like whenever i put my lashes to the side like that and i can see oh yeah new favorite mascara 100 percent Almost tempted like not to put lashes on because this mascara is so good. <laughs> it's so good. I actually might just not. This is definitely my favorite mascara, hands down. All right, so I like really want to put on lashes because I love lashes, but this mascara is so bomb and I'm running out of time. So I'm just gonna move on to the face. All I have left is, so for highlighter, what I'm gonna do is use the Laura Mercier Indiscretion because I got it in the mail from Octali, and thank you so much to Octali for sending it to me. Thank you. Thank you so much to Laura Mercier and Octali for that. Um, so what I always do before I go in with highlighter is I use MAC Fix, well, Mac Fix Plus every time. No, I use a setting spray. Today I'm using MAC Fix Plus Pink Light. Thank you so much to Octali for letting me try this out, and Laura Mercier, look at this. Uh, I know that Desi, I feel like Desi's talked about this before. Ooh. Okay, I'm like, calm down. Don't go overboard. It's kind of impossible to do. Ooh. Oh, they were thinking about the nose when they came out with this brush. They were thinking about snatching. I like, I'm obsessed with highlighting this area for some reason. Sometimes I have to get like a different brush. Oh, yes. This is like the sun kissed 
glow. Highlight? No highlight. Hi yes, yeah, okay. We're going with this side. I kind of want to do a different highlighter on the other side so you guys can see what it looks like. Ugh, let's just do it, because like, why not? So this is the NARS Illuminating Powder, and I talked about this on the haul. Obviously, I talked about like all this stuff on the haul. I'm gonna use my Anastasia brush, because I, it's like my favorite, even though I love this new fan brush. I love that it's like a dual-ended fan brush too, by the way. But this is designated for indiscretion, so. Okay. Okay, so between the two, they both look very similar. This one looks more powdery, and this one looks more wet. Um, and like the formulas are very different. So like that makes sense. I do like the NARS one I think that I'd use that maybe more on the body a little bit. This um, indiscretion is no joke I know everyone's like doing their highlighter like this now so I'm Trying to like be trendy, you know Okay, you know what? I'm gonna say F it and like probably get a speeding ticket because I am really feeling some lashes tonight. I just feel like I don't have enough on if I don't have like this for an every day, like when I'm not wearing eyeshadow, my eyelashes are gonna look way more poppin'. And right now I'm like so amazed. Like look, you can tell it's like <gasps> So I'm gonna try these icons. I, by the way, I'm obsessed with the Brooklyn's. I'm gonna talk about them more in a different video, but I'm gonna be using these icon lashes in the style Slay, slay my life. To end this video, I'm gonna be using the Sigma Cua de Rosa Aura Powder. It is so freaking beautiful. Um, it's like this mauvish rose, which is like, it's called rose. It's so pretty. Um, I like how it's just kind of muted, but it still has a pop of color, but it's not like over the top or anything. It just completes the look 100%. Whoa, why did I just put out my jawline? I don't know. Do you ever just do weird stuff like that? Or is it just, it's probably just me, but. Anyways, this is my finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Get ready with me, showing you guys new products that I bought and show you guys in my haul. So please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, subscribe, sign up for alerts, all that good stuff. Let me know what you think about that giveaway down below, other video ideas. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.